Imagine that you're a netizen in Beijing with an account on China's version of Twitter, Weibo. And imagine that of the 10 people you follow on Weibo, one of them works for Beijing's propaganda office. Well, that's just what Beijing's vice mayor, Liu Wei, who also happens to be the city's propaganda chief, said last Thursday, according to the Beijing News. Liu urged the city's 2.06 million propaganda employees, or one in 10 people in Beijing, to open accounts on social media. The move, he said, would help to, quote, spread positive energy by influencing opinion on hot topics. Of the group, 60,000 work for the government, 2 million are enlisted citizens. Sarah Cook, a senior researcher with U.S.-based Freedom House, says despite the online propaganda army, it might not break people's trust in social media. You know, if you're getting your news, right, from someone who you know, who you know has a track record, who you've been following for a while, who you know is a professor, who you know is either an activist or a lawyer, someone who for whatever reason you're trusting, right, the information that they're sharing, um, I don't think that that would really change. Still, Cook says this group of paid propaganda workers can foster distrust. When, at first, when people would just write, um, uh, would write comments that were very pro-government or pro-party, then they would get called out on it by the other bloggers who would basically call them the 50 cent party um, and would say, oh, you're just, you know, just chilling for the government. Um, but then you start to see things that are much more insidious, where people are producing misinformation. So they'll make up some kind of fact and say something was going on. Finding out how many propaganda officials are amongst them did not go down well with Chinese citizens. According to the Chinese edition of the Epoch Times newspaper, one blogger wrote, quote, so horrible, one-tenth of Beijing's population are propaganda workers, unquote. And it can't be cheap to maintain this large group of people. Referring to the 50-cent party, another blogger wrote, no wonder we have such high taxes. The number 2.06 million has now been censored on Weibo. That's the same with comments relating to the Beijing News article. Holly Kellum, NTD News, New York.